Hi, today we are going to see the topic ETL process. What is ETL? ETL, the expansion of the ETL is extraction, transformation and loading. Definitely the question will come. What to extract? How to extract? What to transform? How to transform? And where to load the data? ETL is the technology with the focus for data integration. ETL refers to a process in a database usage, especially in data warehousing, which extracts data from homogeneous and heterogeneous data sources, transforms the data storing it in proper format or structure for querying or analysis purpose. Why we need a ETL? Some of the data in the OLTP system might not be in proper format. For example, phone number instead of having 10 digits may have only 5 digits or email address might not be in proper format or it may be blank. So such data need to, need to be filtered out. I have already told you in an organization there will be several departments. Each and every department is having its own software which is developed in different technologies. So the data stored in the database will be in different formats. But we need everything in a single format, that is the common format. So hence the data from multiple sources need to be brought into a common format before loading into the data warehouse. So we need a ET. Now we are going to see the ETL process in brief. That's the diagram we are going to see now. This is here the left hand side the operational applications are there. It contains customer database, sales database and product database. We are extracting the data and moving to the staging area. Staging area is the temporary area where the data is stored for cleansing and application of the business rules. After that it will be moved to data warehouse by doing one more ETL. So normally if you in a company, if it is around 40 years or 50 years ongoing companies, uh, they will be using their mainframes, that is the legacy systems. So we, we need an ETL tool to connect to that type of uh, mainframes also. So what are all the challenges we are going to face that we will see now. Complexity of the ETL design depends on the complexity of the warehouse. That is the number of OLTP system that has to be extracted. And also the quality of the data in that OLTP. Most of the data warehouse loading will take place at during night time only, so that the end users can work during the day on report generation. A proper time slot has to be decided if there are multiple applications running on the server. Incremental load. This is the major challenge. There is no point in loading the data again and again, the full data. There are two types of load, full load and incremental load. First time the data fully extracted from the source systems and we will do the necessary transformation we will load it to the data warehouse. But the subsequent time only the changed data we should load that is the delta delta means uh, data which are all changed after the loading that only will be extracted by using uh, different techniques and we have to load it into the database data duplication there is no point in loading the same data again and again more space will be so same data means and loading the data twice okay the more space will be wasted then the obviously the loading process we are going to do that after uh, um, using these techniques incremental load and cleaning the duplicates then we are going to load the data in a common format the data integration i already told that uh, ETL is the tool technology which is having focus mainly on data integration data integration is the process of combining the data sources and uh, different data sources into a single queryable schema to get an unified view of the data Data integration is the transformation from one format to another, which includes cleaning, standardization, enrichment, and metadata processing. Why we need a data integration layer in the data warehousing?
because we need to do some cross functional analysis analysis uh, normally there will we have to coordinate with the hr department uh, by the production department because the the incentives the calculation of the incentives will be done only with the help of the hr department so cross functional analysis finding the correlation that is mainly we will do it in the scientific applications sharing the information that means the legal or regulatory requirements example sharing the customer credit information among the banks then maintaining the single point of the truth there is no point in maintaining the multiple versions of the truth already we have uh, seen these things in the need of the data warehouse topic so higher management topping over several departments we need to know the single picture of the business then merger of the business after merger of one or two companies uh, more than two companies or uh, um uh, two to three companies they want to merge their uh, individual data assets not only the merging of the fixed asset they will also aggregate the individual data assets too so absence of the data integration layer in the data warehouse will lead to colossal failures hence the data integration is the integral part of the data warehouse or both structured and unstructured data now we are going to see the difference between the data integration and data warehouse data integration is nothing but integrating of set of uh, databases files and other data formats but data warehouse is organizing organizing the data in the cube model in order to allow to generate the dynamic reports data integration can be the part of the data warehouse which can be implemented in a company but data warehouse is one of the approaches in the data integration okay and data is the heartbeat of the data warehouse in order for information to be current in the data data warehouse there is a continuum of data movement from different types of source application to the data warehouse in traditional setup we are having uh, the processing of data divided into following steps actually the collection transportation cleansing enrichment and integration now we are going to see the multiple techniques to move on process the data they are etl elt and cdc etl is the extraction and transformation loading the thing what we have seen now this is the most common approach the source data is collected from different data generators and processed to an intermediate layer called a, a staging area from there the data is cleansed and uh, business rules will be applied and then uh, it will be processed into the data warehouse elt that is extraction loading and transformation this approach is preferred in the situation where data is agile and very structured in nature and requires minimal integration cdc that means the third party application is installed on the source system to collect the changes occurring to the data that means the changes made to the data only the extract and not the entire full extract we will be doing every time on the target side the same third party application is installed to process the data collected from extract and loaded into the data warehouse staging area the data is then cleansed and enriched and transformed to its final destination within the data warehouse cdc is very useful for processing the data in near real time situation where the data availability is critical normally the hybrid approach is adopted in the that means the combination of etl and the cdc extraction is the first step in the process of getting the data into the data warehouse and extract environment that extracting means not only just pulling up the data it's just reading and understanding the source data and copying the data needed onto the etl system for further manipulation first we are reading and understanding the data what the etl does then cleansing that means correcting the misspelling dealing with missing elements and deduplicating the data parsing in different formats then changing the data and adding value to that means enhancing it the final step of the ecl process is the physical structuring and loading of data into the presentation area presentation is area where data organized stored and made available for direct querying by the users